Hey guys, it's Ariva and I'm back. Today's makeover is going to be on my lovely client here who just recently cut off all of her ombre. So as you can see, there's a lot of brassy tones in her hair and a lot of her ombre is really low. So we're going to be painting it right back up and toning all of the copper tones out. Oh, and minor detail, she has an undercut happening under here. The lightener that I'm using today is Blonde Icing from Retkin and I'm using a two to one ratio with 40 volume. I'm going to be creating a brick lay pattern and I'm starting this by creating two diagonal sections. I'm going to be painting in a V-like pattern and I'm going to be saturating the ends extremely generously because I want the ends to almost be lightened to a white. And then I'm just flicking some of the product up towards the center to create a gradient-like effect. I generally like to paint the corners of the section really close to the root so that my clients are able to enjoy longer lasting hair color. For the brick lay placement, I'm going to be alternating two diagonal sections and one horizontal section. I'm completely saturating the ends front and back on each section and fading it up towards the mid shaft. And now I'm taking another diagonal section to continue the brick lay pattern. Once I get to the center of the head, I'll start painting in kind of like a fork in the middle of the section just so we can create a lot of variation in the hair. This is what the brick lay placement looks like. At this point, you should start to get a better idea of what the hair color is going to look like once it's rinsed out. I personally like to go in and get all of the product on the section that I'm working on first and then spread it out with my brush and create whatever gradient effect it is that I'm after. As you can see, a lot of her balayage has been cut off from her recent haircut, so I'm going in and very carefully applying the color as close to her root as I can and then generously saturating her ends before I flick it upwards towards the center to create a gradient effect. The money shot, this is her side swept bang that I'm painting. Fade, 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 bam. Finish it off on the other side and we're done. And I'm going to let her sit and process for about 45 minutes to an hour. This is what the brick lay pattern looks like when it's complete. And once I shampoo her hair out, she's left with this gorgeous orange thing. And this is Kyle, say hi. <laughs> he provided this client's undercut and haircut. So I wanted to make sure her hair is completely dry and there's no moisture in her hair because I'm going to be toning her hair with a permanent hair color that is oil based. I'm going in with Chromatics 7NA in the mid shaft with 10 volume and 10P and 8P equal parts with 10 volume on the ends. I'm applying the hair color in the same manner that I applied the lightener, completely saturating it on the ends and fading it upwards towards the mid shaft. I'm going to let her process for 45 minutes before I shampoo it out. To style her hair, I'm going in with Bumble and Bumble Blow Dry Repair Cream. It's going to help against any heat damage and also help hold our blow dry in place. I'm using a lock and twist blowout technique to style her hair. I'll leave the link for the tutorial below so that you can try it out yourself at home. For this particular blowout, I'm using two 33 millimeter round brushes. Unlocking the brushes and giving it a good shake. Nice and big, nice and messy. And for her finishing, I'm using City Swept from Bumble and Bumble.
bigger and bigger. A beautiful ash blonde ombre. A perfectly gradient ombre and a badass undercut. Good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. And if you aren't already, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, millennialmama.ca for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.